uh, if I start with Ivan, for instance, just to select a few. Ivan Coretta was one of the 28 uh, boys whom I trained at, Mo at Montepuege, Mozambique, where there's a war now, there's a war going on there. But Samara Masher gave us a, a facility to train and uh, the, the, our internal network here comprised of uh, Amama Mbawazi, Otafire, there was also another lawyer called um, Dennis Echo from Kaveramaido and myself directly, some of them I, I recruited them directly, were able to recruit 28 of these people and we took them to Montpellier. I, I went there myself to be there because we had tried before and we had had some mishaps. We had lost two groups, three actually, who had been not properly trained and therefore they couldn't uh, be the, the seed, because we wanted the seed to, to, to grow. We had like three groups before. So this time I decided to go myself and be there where the Mozambicans were training them. So, like Ivan, he was among, uh, by the time the war started, on the 30th of, was it October, 1978, Ivan had, be, had been infiltrated back into Uganda. The, the idea was to train them and infiltrate them back, and they work from inside. So Ivan had already been infiltrated by, by, the, by the time the war started. And, 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 and one other boy called Sabena, I don't know where Sabena, what happened to Sabena. Uh, but when the war started, the, the ones I was still with in Dar es Salaam, because this time they had come from Montepuege, Mozambique to Dar es Salaam, Chinondoni. I went with them to the front, to, to Karagwe. And we arrived there on the 23rd of December, 1978. And then they started uh, multiplying. We recruited some Bachiga boys who had gone to work as, as porters in Tanzania. <laughs> this is a people's struggle. See, this is, a, this is a, the struggle of the people against an army which was in the barracks supported by foreigners, supported by... So, with, the, with the, the, that group, I, I recruited about 200 Bachiga boys who are doing, doing the Chibarua in Karagwe, in Tanzania. Uh, and it was with those that we crossed into Uganda on the 11th of February, 1979. Now, when we entered Uganda, at Ngarama, and uh, Chezimbire, and uh, Chamate, Kakova, we, built, we, we expanded the numbers. I think that's where people like Owe Sijiri would have joined would have joined uh, that time. So by the time we, we, Kampara was captured in April, 11th April, we had a force of 9,000. So you can see. Banyangkwele kori tokutura how to make something small grow big. Abaganda wa chita watia. Ukuzazamu. Ha? 
Ukuzalisa. Ukuzalisa. Uh-huh. So, this is the NIM. Now, so Ivan was the other original seed. Because some of the seeds had become bad. We had tried 71, the seed had not grown well. 73, the seed had not grown well. But this group was able to, the small group, 28 people. Going back in history, about 44, 45 years ago, uh, this general was recruited by Front for National Salvation. It was a political military organization, then led by Mr. Yoweri Museveni, who is now the president of Uganda and commander-in-chief of the Uganda People's Defense Forces. We got tutored in the arts and sciences of warfare. Grounded in this knowledge, we were privileged to participate in the numerous wars to free our country and her people. Thank you, Your Excellency, for being our teacher, for being our mentor, and for being our counselor. Excellency, we want to thank you for your patience with us over all these years. We want to thank you for the confidence you put in us to serve our country in various roles and capacities. To the gallant comrades, officers, and other ranks of formerly FRONASA, National Resistance Army, and now Uganda People's Defense Forces. We thank you for the opportunity you granted us to have served together with you all these years. Memorable times are many, but memorable times are, but too many. We will miss you, but we will remain available when you need us. We thank our leaders, both civilian and military, for the very able support and counsel in peace and war time over all these years. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we pledge to remain ready and available to serve our country in whatever role or capacity when called upon. We wish you, Your Excellency, good health and success in steering the matters of our country, Uganda. We wish you, the Uganda People's Defense Forces, more successes now and in the future.